Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for tuning in. We are looking at a 10-hour chart of Nervous Network CKB. Now, if you find any of this content helpful or you just like it, feel free and hit that like button. It really shows me a lot of support and it encourages me to keep making these videos. Same with the subscribe button. If you like it, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It's free after all, right? Now, since April 1st, it's been an absolute bloodbath, but we might be on a path to a reversal or a potential reversal. Let me explain. It's not guaranteed. There's still a couple scenarios that I want to play out for everyone here. We've got this trend line here, and currently it almost looks like we might be edging right up to that trend line, but what I would like to see happen is have us trade sideways Fibonacci time zone April 24th, 11 a.m., this might be a pivot point for this bloodbath. We may see some upside happen. Stochastics are in the tank, which is where we need them, along with the RSI. We have plenty of gas in the tank to take a long drive upwards if we need it. But stochastics, we need those down low as well. Uh, that just kind of tells us that if we see some of these hiking ashy candles, if we see start seeing doji stars, and full body green candles without the wicks on the bottom, that might tell us that we have a strong uptrend beginning, something similar to this. This is exactly what I would like to see, a spinning top doji star followed by some nice full body candles that might tell us, hey, there's a little uptrend coming. Furthermore, you can see that we've double bottomed off the two cent line and also the 200 moving average. This is great, folks. I, I think this two cent line is a very uh, well guarded psychological price point for nervous investors at this point in time. Along with this 200 moving average, I think that kind of strengthens that two, uh, two cent level. Now, I did load up about 100,000 CKBs uh, right down in this area, about 21.5 to 22 cents uh, a share, I guess, or coin if you want to call it that, and uh, I'm looking forward to the chance of a potential reversal. Now, I think this thing's going to play out in a few different ways. A, we're either going to trade sideways, hit this Fibonacci line, and then go up, or this thing's going to either compress down into this little Fibonacci uh, channel, and then this might act as a pivot point or something around this time, either to go up, or the bottom's gonna fall off. That's my prediction for what's gonna happen next. I'm hoping we just kind of kiss the 200, like what kind of happened down here. I mean, this came off a very bearish shed here. I'm hoping we just kind of come down and kiss this 200 and start heading back upwards. But if you look at a uh, previous event back in August of 2020, CKB went from uh, about a half a cent up to almost a full penny. And the results of the downswing uh, were pretty nasty. You can definitely see how it went way under this 200 moving average. And I can see from this, this point on, we kind of went from a half cent all the way up to a nearly four and a half cent. So if this thing comes crashing down any further, I'd expect it to A, either get hung up at this two cent level and drag on out or the 61.8 level, or if the bottom's really gonna fall off, we may be just heading down to this uh, 88.6 level, which at that point, I'm willing to take out maybe uh, a few more thousand dollars and invest again if that happens. But I'm hoping it doesn't. I really am happy with the position I'm in now. If it goes down more, I will probably just continue adding small sums and small sums. So the next Fibonacci time zone that comes after April 24th is May 9th. Somewhere in that time, we may see uh, another event unfold. I'm hoping, folks, I'm hoping that this was just one big inverse head and shoulders or something like this that uh, was forming all along. Now, I'm gonna have a guy on, his name is 
dperch531. You can look him up on TikTok. This guy is a Harvard mathematician. And I think, well, he was at one point until he dropped out of Harvard. But interestingly enough, I bumped into him at some uh, functions, at some investment functions, uh, a couple years back. And we kind of became friends over the years. And he has some really interesting takes on the market right now. And let me know in the comments if you'd like to hear from this guy. He is a brilliant genius. I mean, everything he says is pure gold, it seems like, that comes out of his mouth. But, uh, you know, that might be coming up in the future videos, so something to look out for. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear from all of you where you think ckb is going to go from here so we'll catch you guys later and we'll update this tomorrow have a great day guys